on Desmos. So you've already learned how to make sine curves. I now want you to learn how to make them move like a wave. So start graphing. And I totally need you to log in and save this because we're going to be using it later. And if you don't save it now, you're going to have to recreate this later. So make sure you save the work that you do. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is when you go into the place where you type your equations, you're going to start by typing the equation of a wave. Y equals A, which is amplitude. B times T. Well, we're not going to use T as time. We're going to use A as time. Little a. Minus CX plus D, which we learned yesterday was the equation for a wave. Again, A is amplitude, D is vertical shift, C relates to the wavelength, and B relates to the frequency. It's then going to ask you to make sliders and make sliders of them all. You should get one for A, B, C, D, and little a. I'd like you to run the sliders from 0 to 10 and step it by 0 0.001. And you do that for A. You can do that for B. For little a, which again is time, you're going to run that from 0 to 20. C, you're going to go back to 0 to 10. And D, you can go negative 5 to positive 5 and step it by 0 0.001. Okay, so you now have everything in place. What we're going to do first is I want you to realize, again, little a represents time. Right now, we're at one second. This is what the wave would look like at one second. If you scroll through time, you'll see how the sine curve moves as time progresses. We don't want to have to scroll. We want this to happen automatically. So what you're going to do is go right here under the play button where it says animation properties. You're going to click on that and you just want it to run once. So click where it says play once and then have the speed about half speed so it doesn't happen too quickly. Okay, at this point, you're ready to play your uh, wave and you should actually be able to see the wave traveling from left to right. Okay, what we're gonna do next is kind of tricky. We'd like to make sure you realize that this is a transfer of energy and not a transfer of matter. So it looks like the whole string is moving from left to right. So we need to define particles on the string that we can watch as time progresses. So what we're going to do for this is we are going to set up equations to track just a piece of the string. So you're going to type velocity as a function of time. And this time you're using the letter T for time. Then A, capital A, sine, parentheses, BT, minus zero, close it off, plus D. You don't want to see this graph. This is not a graph that we're going to be looking at. This is just an equation to predict the vertical position of the string at a certain moment in time. So turn that off. Then make an equation for the horizontal position of that particle that we're tracking. And for this one, I'd like you to type 6.28 divided by our C value. Again, you don't need to see this, so hide it. Okay, and then what we're going to do is to actually have that particle show up, we're going to type a coordinate, and that coordinate is going to be h as a function of a and V as a function of A also. We're going to label that particle as particle one that we're tracking on our string. And what you'll see is that purple particle shows up right here on our string. I'd like to adjust the size of this window right now. So if you click on your little wrench, 
I'd like you to make sure you label the x-axis as the horizontal position. And that can be in centimeters. And have it run from 0 to 10. And then for the y, you could type that as the vertical position. And that also can be in centimeters. That I'd like to run from negative 10 to positive 10. Okay, and that's how it all should look. If you want it a little bolder, you could hit projector mode. It will make everything a little bit uh, bolder and stand out a little more. Okay, so again, you could see particle one on our thing. And we want to hit, uh, we'd like to change our C value now to a 4. So it should read A is 1, B is 1. Little a, which again is time, can be anything at this moment. In fact, I'm going to bring it back to 0. C I want as 4, and D I want as 1. And actually, you could bring D down to 0 if you want. Get it right on the x-axis. Okay, again, so this is giving us the vertical position of our particle and the horizontal position, and then we're plotting them out as x comma y, the coordinates of that particle. We'd like to duplicate this, so I'm just going to copy paste and put a 2 in front of it and call it particle 2. And you'll see we now added a second particle to our string that we can track. And you can do this a couple more times. Particle 3 and Particle 4. Okay, and then all you're going to do is hit play again for A, which is time. So right now time is 0. But if you play it, time will progress, and you'll see the wave energy moving from left to right. You'll see the particles, which represent pieces of the string, going up and down. You'll notice that they don't move left and right. They're just like the surfers out in the waves, where they just bob up and down without being carried forward. The wave is a transfer of energy, not a transfer of matter. So at this point, you are done creating your wave maker. And again, you can have this thing play and watch as time goes by as your particles move. And recall that the wave is a transfer of energy, not a transfer of matter. Again, these are gonna become sound waves. They're gonna become light waves. Okay, all you need to do today is share with me a screenshot of your particular wave. Now you're each going to be using a different value for A, B, C, and D, and I will have those values posted in a spreadsheet for you. Please make sure when you're done you save this and give it a name because we're going to need this again for our next lesson. I don't want to do too much in one day. I just want to make sure you can create a wave display in Desmos that we could then learn from tomorrow. I hope this was clear, but if there's anything you don't understand, don't hesitate to reach out.